Hey guys, in this video, you're gonna see me unbox some treasures that were hidden in the garage. Let's, let's go. I'm Janet Decay, the mummy. And I'm Grimgory, the monkey. And together we host The, the Mummy and, and the Monkey's, monkey's Hairy Scary Hangout. Friday nights on Facebook Live. Well, that was interesting. Whoa. Wow. Going and action. Hey, so I was going through the. <laughs> Let me try that again. Hey, so I was going through the garage and I have a box of stuff that I still need to list on eBay and sort through and do research. Um, I think some of this could be good. This is from my consignment person. And uh, let's let's go in. Let's let's uh, dive in here. So there's some books on top. Uh, modern language series. I'm not sure what language that is. What year is this from? Let's see. It's an antique book. 1930. So I don't know. I'll have to research that to see what book that is. And then this is. It looks like an antique religious book from 1904 and it's in rough condition but it's a uh, yeah like a religious um, book maybe from Sunday school or something it looks like someone had little check marks on it like they were taking notes but that's that's different that's neat all right let's see what's in here there's a lot of stuff wrapped in paper Look how cute. There's a little dog. What type of dog is that? Is that like a schnauzer? Um, a bull terrier? I don't think a terrier. Some sort. I don't know. And the brand is... It says Korea and it says Joseph Originals. So Korea, that's probably 60s or 70s. Yes, I've heard of Joseph before. Yeah. He's my brother. <laughs> no, yeah, they, they made uh, ceramics tail. and stuff like that in the 50s, 60s. But he's kind of cool. So I don't know the value on these yet. I still have to research them. Ooh. So this is a pretty little vase. It's vintage. It has that like nice kind of bluish gray color. Um, Denmark, Copenhagen, number 36. It's numbered. Copenhagen 36. So uh, Copenhagen, Denmark, they make a lot of ceramic collectibles. And some of those are, are worth money. I don't know if the vases are. I want the ones that aren't worth money. <laughs> Dinner time. Here's a little bell by Laura Sneed. S-N-E-A-D. Laura Sneed. It's marked inside there. And it has like an acorn design. So there's that. It might be part of like a tea set or something. Tea time and you ring the little bell. Oh, here's a little bird. L'Oreal. Beswick made in England number 2274 stone, stone chat, stone, stone, Whoa. stone chat. I didn't know they could. Stone shay. I not, I don't know how you would say that, but there's the marking. And there's the little bird. So that must be the name of the little bird. It's cute. Hmm. This one says Rosenthal, Germany, and it's like a little floral design, a little fancy teacup. So I don't know if I have their matching saucer to go with that. Just watch the edge of that stair. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. Or tuck it down so you can see I, it. <laughs> I, I, I got it. Oh, there's a bear. Terry Bear First Mate, and it says First Mate by Lennox, and it looks like it has some gold plating. It's like a little uh, teddy bear there. Hmm. Uh, Terry Bear, thank you. Terry Bear, yes. A little sailor bear. Did you want another box to put these things in? No, it's okay. I got it. Just uh, watch the camera. Whoa. We've heard of Sailor Jerry. Maybe he's Sailor Barry. <laughs> 
Um, this next piece is Royal Dalton Beatrix Potter, 1997. Mm -hmm. Tom Kitten climb, climbed up the rockery. So it says that there, and then it has Tom Kitten. It's like a little mug, a little cup. I don't know if those are of any value, but I know Beatrix Potter and Royal Dalton, uh, people do collect. Mm. So that's good. What else is in here? Oh, there's kitties. Do you want me to show you my kitties? <laughs> there's a Siamese kitty. And this is by Inesco, Japan. So this is 1950s, 1960s. It would be considered mid-century. A little ceramic kitty. Um, here's Whoa. another. They didn't break, we're good. Inesco, Japan, and it's marked E6311. And this is like a little spotty kitty. Ceramic kitties. Meow. You run out of room there. Oh no, I'm good. And I can put stuff back in the box too. There, I'll, I'll, I'll make do. So I think this one's all paper. What's in here? <gasps> a monkey. I think that one's for you, Grim. No, we have, we have one upstairs like that. There's a couple of them. Number 556 Goebel, West Germany. Mm. It's a little Goebel monkey. Very cool. So there was probably like a whole set of these little monkeys. All right, what's this one? Another mug, I think. Honka Monka, and it's a mousy, and it says Royal Albert Bone China, The World of Beatrix Potter, 1986. So mm. it's like a little, it looks like a little kid's ceramic mug. Double handle. Yeah, with the two handles. Huh. I don't know who gives their kids ceramic mugs anymore. I'm sure it's just a. Ooh. I'm sure it's just a collectible piece. I can't imagine um, kids playing with ceramic cups anymore. Being scared. Go ahead. <laughs> Here's another cup by Laura Sneed, and it's like a flower design, and it has her signature on it. I don't know if that's a valuable thing, but. Um, I'm definitely going to research that that brand or that that lady's name. And how it works with my consignment people, um, after the sale, after the fees and everything, that I get a cut of it and they get a cut of it. And um, here is Gold Bowl, 1958, and this is like a little redhead kid, like a little redhead boy on a chair. And on the back it says off key. So that must be the name of the piece. Mm -hmm. He's playing off key. Mm. <laughs> he's, he's cute looking. Let's see, what else? Oh, here's another redheaded, redhead kid. Originally this was $55. This is from 1963. I don't wow. know if it's worth that much anymore. Um, some of these aren't worth very much. Um, Goebel and uh, Hummel, even though they're collectible, they have dropped in value significantly, but people still like to collect them. They still sell. They just won't sell for a lot. <laughs> What's this one? Let's see. <gasps> it's Bunny. There's Bunny. Easter's coming up in a few months. Uh, Goebel, 3490... <laughs> 909. Oh, it's a little bunny. Number nine. Number nine. <laughs> number nine. Number nine. Here's a, a horse or a donkey. No, I think it's a horse. Gold or a little pony. Some of those are good. The little ponies and unicorns and little horses. People, a lot of people collect horses. Now the person that you got this from, she has more for you? Yes, I'm actually going to see her in a couple days because she has even more collectibles and some of them are very good. Um, but I have to sort through and see what is a good seller and what isn't. And the stuff that isn't, I usually just donate and she's cool with it. Um, bunny Toes, 1994. Another little bunny thing. I don't know. I have to research it. Some of this stuff could be crap. Some of it could be, could be money. 
And as a reseller, you have to take the time to sort through everything and research your items. Uh, Wedgwood, ooh, Wedgwood. Wedgwood made in England. That could be good. Wedgwood is a good brand. And some of them only go for 10, 20 bucks. Some of them could be 50 or more, depending on what it is. Um, this is like a little teddy bear kid's cup. It's very cute, um, but again, who gives that to their kid to drink their uh, juice out of? <laughs> it's more of a collector, uh, a collectible piece and not so much as like a piece you would use. Oh, that's the bunny. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. Ooh, this one's heavy. What is this thing? Oh. Another bunny with a cart. That That's looks... a rickshaw bunny. Yeah, a rickshaw bunny. That would, and it's like an egg shape. It says Old World Heritage by Russ. Mm, Russ. Russ. Russ also makes those treasure trolls mm. and little collectibles. So, um, you know, Easter. Mm -hmm. You should get all the bunny stuff listed for Easter. Oh, here's a uh, saucer. I think that goes, it's Laura Sneed. That must go with that one teacup. Mm -hmm. So we did find a matching saucer. Okay, went through the stuff there. This is that bunny. Didn't go through this one. What's this piece? Another bunny. It's a Beatrix Potter. <laughs> yeah, this one looks like Beatrix Potter for sure. Peter Rabbit. John Beswick Studio Sculptures, the Beatrix Potter series, Peter Rabbit, 1984. So that could be good. Hmm. I wonder if it, if it had a bell jar that went with it. Or no, it's not shaped the right way. No, just, no. just like that. Or, I mean, it could have had some oval, but I, I don't think so. So, there's that guy. And then there's a few more smalls in this box, and then I think we went through everything with this one. Oh, another red-headed kid. Red-headed stepchildren. Sour balls. Uh, <laughs> 1958. That's what it says on the bag. It's on the back. It says good news. Yeah, but he's got sour balls in, in a bag. Oh, he does have... He's holding his sack of sour balls. Oof. Well, that's where they belong. Wow, okay. Oh, sour... That's going to be my new saying. Like, oh, sour balls. <laughs> I guess in 1958, they didn't think that that was... Um, yeah, they did, but you know, they're just a lot uh, dirtier now, I guess. I guess so. Ooh, this is nice. Profane. It needs cleaned, though, but there's um, some geese? Or no, those are ducks, right? Yeah, those are ducks. A mallard duck and a female duck, I think. So a two male duckies. And, female. and then... Because the males have the brighter heads. It says Rosenthal, Germany, and it has some numbers, number 153, so there's the marking. Um, so that, that could be good. Some of those German ceramics, those little collectibles could be good. And this isn't normally stuff that I like to list, but I'm also learning about it too. Because, yeah, is that everything? There might be one more thing. There's another yeah. cup. Have a cup of... Jemima alighted rather heavily. Hmm. Oh, is that the name of the goose? Jemima's the goose. So there's Jemima the goose. Yes. And those are her eggs. That's her nest. Mm -hmm. And this is that's Royal from... Dalton Beatrix Potter. Yes, that's Peter Rabbit character. So, um, again, I have to research this. But yeah, I, I, with this stuff you learn as you go, like I didn't know about rare German ceramics before, but I started researching it so I can see what sells and get them listed and uh, make some money yeah I mean <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> the more sales the more money for me the more money for my consignment person and it's all good and uh, yeah I'm excited about getting more boxes of stuff from her in a few days so um, and that'll be a whole different video and that, that could be a whole different video so um, it, it probably will be if we shoot it at, at a different day and time probably. it'll probably be a, it I, I have a good <laughs> feeling that it will be a totally different video I think so. Anyway. Well, thank you, James, for helping me film. No problem. And uh, thank you guys for watching out there. And if you guys are interested in any of these things, I should be getting them 
on eBay in the near future. And again, I have to research it. Um, some stuff, it's, if it's like $5, yeah. any more I'll just donate it rather than listing it for $5. But um, I got some homework to do now. Bye. <laughs>